Hello and welcome back for part three of our dance shoe series. This week we're going to be going through what size should you get for dance shoes. Now it you're not going to have a definitive answer after watching this video, but I'm going to provide you with some of my tips and what I look for when I'm shopping for dance shoes and usually how I help other dancers pick their dance shoes. So first of all, Highland dance shoes are made of leather, so they're I'm not gonna say very stretchy, but they will stretch. So you have to be mindful of that when you're shopping for dance shoes. So I bought these, and they're a two and a half. So first of all, I'm a size six to six and a half in a women's street shoe. And I bought a two and a half as a comfy shoe. So I did not have to stretch this. After I put it on my foot, it more or less fit after one or two performances. So you have to be mindful of that. I will put on the two and a half so you can kind of see what I mean. So there's really no, I can fit my fingers in the back of while my shoe is on. So at this point, this is great for me for performances, but this is not what I would rec recommend for a competitive shoe. The size that I would buy is a one and a half and I will also disclaimer say that all dance shoe suppliers, the sizing is different. So I wouldn't necessarily get a one and a half in every single dance shoe style, but that's typically the size that I'm going for. These are the shoes that I like and the size that I buy. So for reference, this is the size street shoe I would wear and this is the dance shoe size that I would wear. Again, keep in mind that these stretch, so it's not comfortable. So I will show you what it looks like when you're putting this shoe on for the first time, but these will magically fit your foot one day. So it should be a bit of a struggle. <laughs> so this is how it's going to look when trying to get it on my foot. And you can see that it's very fitted. My toes are a bit crunched up. I can't fit fingers in the back of my shoe, but this is going to, sh to stretch and really shape to my foot and it's going to give the best look when you're on stage competing or performing. I would highly recommend making sure that when you receive a dance shoe, it's not fitting your foot right away. Um, we do give some leniency to younger dancers, so if you still have like a very young dancer who's growing, we usually give them a little room in their dance shoes, but if you're a premier dancer, top level, who's competing all the time, you should be wearing really tight shoes and you're probably gonna have to get new shoes a couple times a year. So that is what I would look for when shopping for Gillies. If you're watching this video and you're thinking, how the heck is that ever going to fit on my foot? Don't worry, we have you covered. So Kate did an entire vlog on how she stretches her shoes. There's lots of techniques. You can wet your socks, you can wet the entire shoe, wear them for practice. She goes through all of it. So be sure to go check out that vlog on our YouTube channel. And then we would also love if you like and subscribe so that you never miss a video from our studio. And if you're ever in need of dance shoes, we sell these. So be sure to reach out. I have an email in the description that you can reach out to. You can shop locally or we can ship to you. So thank you for joining us for this three-part series. We hope that you learned how to put the laces into your dance shoes, how to lace them up onto your foot, and what you should be looking for when you're getting a pair of dance shoes for the first time ever. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.